Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm making a pretty quick but pretty important video about lightning components. Uh, how to build specifically your first lightning component. And in this video we're gonna make just a simple lightning component that creates a list of accounts. And for each account there's going to be a little card uh, including the title of the account, when it was last modified, and a button to open up the account. And we're gonna start with this example, and this is gonna be the first in a series of videos that's going to build on this example and show you not only how to build lightning components, but how to uh, build multiple components that can work together and use those components to form uh, an application. So let's go ahead and get started with this. It's a pretty simple tutorial. There's gonna be three parts. We're gonna make an Apex controller, a JavaScript controller, and the component itself, uh, what the user's going to see. And we're gonna make all of those things work together. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a really simple idea of the basic pieces of a Lightning component and how you can build your own. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and log into Salesforce. Now, once we're in Salesforce, we're going to open up the developer console. And once that opens up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Apex class. Now, I'm going to name this class something like uh, Lightning Account List Controller. And I'm just going to create a new class. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an Aura-enabled public variable that's a list of accounts. I'm going to call it Account List. Now, I also need to create a function that returns an instance of this class. It's not the same as a constructor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create something called controller, which is an instance of this class, and I'm going to return it using this function. So now, inside of this function, all I need to do is query and set that account list variable. So I'm going to select ID name last modified date from account, and I'm going to order by last modified date descending, just to get the most recent. Let's zoom in and see this a little bit closer. Okay, so everything here looks pretty good. Uh, I think the only thing left to do is save, make sure that this compiles properly. And it's saved, good. Okay, so now what I can do is I can create a new Lightning component. And I'm gonna call this one Lightning Account List. And from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the JavaScript controller. So it's gonna create a bundle for us. And this is the markup, we're gonna create this later. What we're gonna do is on the right hand side click controller, and it's gonna create a JavaScript controller for us. Now. Let's define get record list, a new function, and we're gonna set an action. And the action is gonna be c.getListData. And this corresponds to the name of the controller in the back end. Okay? Now let's set a callback for this action. And let's basically say if this is successful, if we're able to call that back end function, what we're going to do is we are going to create a variable called store response, which is going to get the data. And we are going to set something on the front end, v.accountList, equal to storeResponse.accountList, which is what the back end returned. Now we just need to enqueue this action, okay? So we have an action, we have a callback, and we queue that action to run, as well as we have an account list, which is coming from the back end. It's set by that query. And we are going to store that in the front end in something called v.accountList, okay? So now we need to make on the front end an attribute that will hold that. But first, let's set the controller in the front end, in the component markup. And let's go ahead and set an aura handler. Now, this is a function that's going to run itself when the page initializes, when the component initializes. And it's going to run c.getRecordList, which is the JavaScript function, which runs the back end function, OK? So getRecordList, again, runs getListData, which is here, which sets that list, OK? So a little bit confusing, and there's several steps, but there we go. Okay, and now we need to create that attribute that's going to store our list of accounts. So I'm gonna create an aura attribute. I'm gonna give it a name and a type. The name is account list, it needs to correspond, and the type is list. I can use any of my primitive types. So again, account list, account list. So those will match so that that data can be stored in the front end and used by the front end. Now what I need to do is just create a div that's going to hold the content of our markup, basically. Uh, it's going to hold the markup that's going to display to the user. So let's create a lightning layout, and let's create a lightning layout item with padding inside of it. Now I'm going to create basically just a title. So we'll create a div class, page section, page header, and we'll put an h2 in there. And we'll just throw in recently modified accounts, because that's essentially the title of this lightning component. That's what this lightning component is showing. Okay? So, so far so good. Uh, we should have a title. Let's go and preview that. Let's create a new Lightning application. I'm just going to call it, um, I don't know, something generic. Let's call it like My Lightning App. And I will save that. And now the reason I do that is 
In order to see this, I need to create an application. I'm gonna extend force SLDS just so that it shows up with the, uh, with the lightning styles. And I'm gonna throw in C lightning account list. Okay, I'm gonna save that and on the right hand side, I can click preview and that'll show me, there we go. There's, it's just my title for now, but my lightning component is working correctly. Okay, now let's go back to our markup and let's create yet another lightning layout item. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna copy the layout item again, save some time here. And we're gonna create what's called an aura iteration. Now this is super important. The items are going to be v.accountList. Remember, it's getting it from up there. And then we set a variable, with, and this is how we reference each item that it iterates through. So for each item, let's create a lightning card. Its title will be the name of the account. We'll give it an icon that's the account icon. And I'm gonna throw a class in there. We could edit the styles later if we wanted to. Now let's set, let's create a set and the attribute will be actions. And we're just gonna put a button in there that's going to open this account, right? And so we need to set up a URL essentially. So in order to set up a URL, it's gonna be slash lightning, slash r, slash account, the ID of the account, and then slash view. And I want it to open in a new tab, so I put target blank, okay? And last but not least, we will put a paragraph um, node, a paragraph markup and we will put the last edited date using a lightning formatted date tag, okay? So let's go and preview how this shows up. We should see now recently modified accounts and a list of cards, and there we go. Those are all my recently modified accounts. Uh, it looks really good, and if I click open on one of them, I can see it's actually gonna open it up. All right, so that's really awesome. Looks like my basic lightning component is working. There were those three pieces the markup, the JavaScript controller, and the backend controller. And then we had to embed it in an application to be able to see it, to be able to preview it. Um, but again, everything looks really good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I can keep going, I can keep building on top of this. But really what I wanna do is I kinda wanna just, one last time, review all of the various pieces. So we have an Aura iteration, which takes that account list and uses that variable account. And it references name, it references ID, and it references last modified date which are all of the fields that we used before. All of the fields that we queried and stored in account list. Now account list we set using our JavaScript controller. We set it right there and it was equal to the account list that was returned by our action. Now our action called get list data, which was our apex controller function, which set the value of account list using a SQL query. All right. And that SQL query had ID, name, and last modified date, just as we have ID, name, and last modified date. All right, so that was it. Hopefully it was pretty straightforward. Uh, again, this is the first in what should be multiple videos that are actually gonna utilize this lightning component. We're gonna continue to build out functionality uh, in and around this component, so stay tuned for those videos. Uh, if this was helpful to you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, feedback, comments, etc., leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like to follow this and see some of the code snippets, I do have a post that I've written on the website, and I will link to that post in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.